To start off, let me explain what's going on here. Master Blastia is a guy who's famous on Little Big Planet 2 for his music. He's been featured in a couple of level hubs. He got what used to be called an MM pick, now known as a team pick, for one of his music galleries. And another one was featured on this thing called Tunes Day, which basically features a music gallery every Tuesday. Or most every Tuesday. So as you can see, this guy's got quite the reputation. Now, I don't like his music personally, primarily because I think it just got dull. Like, to the point where I can hardly tell the difference between songs, but I digress. Now, he recently got a new music-making program on his computer, FL Studio to be precise. He got it like, uh, like four or five months ago, and he only made like, like three or four songs with it or something, I don't know. But the point is, he's still relatively new to the software. Now, here's why I'm making this rant. Normally, he uploads his music to SoundCloud, and formerly YouTube, I don't know what happened. But then, about a month ago, he uploaded his first song to iTunes, and he's charging 99 cents per download. Now, the thing is that he wants to make a career in music, but the reason I'm mad about this is because he basically jumped the gun. Now, generally, I don't care for what Master Blastia does much anymore since I've long gotten over him, but when I saw that he had uploaded a song to iTunes and charging people for it, you know, it just reopened a healing wound for me, and I was like, oh, hell no. So I knew I had to say something, and the song isn't even that great anyway, it's just an uninspired generic techno tune with nothing special about it. It uses nothing but preset synths, the mixing is muddy as hell, that percussion is basically the same as every other subpar techno song. Oh, and that little solo near the end? Yeah, once the song ended, I already forgot about it. I mean, it's literally like he was just making it up as he went. Now, do you think that's something worth 99 cents? For God's sake, the title of the song is Something Random. That's what it's called. How am I supposed to be able to say that he put effort into this? Oh, but negative, you don't have to buy his music. No one's making you. Yeah, I get that. But the point I'm trying to make is not that you don't have to buy his music, but more so you shouldn't have to buy his music. He's still too inexperienced with FL Studio to justify the price tag. You know, considering that he uploaded this same song to SoundCloud where you can listen to it in its entirety for free. Hell, there's even an option that lets uploaders give you the option to download songs for free, like he does with most of his other songs on there. That is stupid. How he's using your naivete to, to his advantage to make him money that he doesn't deserve. He's making fools out of you people. Oh, and on a side note, for those of you saying, Oh, well, I don't see you making any music. Shut the hell up. Why should that matter? I could say the same about you, and it, it would be just as strong an argument. Yeah, you, music is easy to make, but making good music is not just just pulling random notes out of your ass and calling it a day. That's what Master does now, and he does not deserve the money you people are blindly giving him. Now, I don't know if he knows that he doesn't deserve it, and he wants you to buy his generic crap because he knows you will because you're his fanboys. Or if he's, or if, if, if this is just another one of his dumbass attacks, because let me tell you, he can be pretty airheaded. But either way, Andy, yeah, Andy, I hope you're not just watching this, but listening to what I'm saying right now. Andy, this is just low, even for you. Me and Trill, we were just trying to help you, but you didn't want to hear it. When you deleted our comments, you said that we were going... If, if we were going to critique a song, that we should say it in what you refer to as a mature manner. Why? Because your poor widow heart can't take it? You deleted me and Trill's comments simply because we weren't speaking our opinions in a way you wanted us to? Grow the fuck up, Andy. So what if you have a problem with how we review music? Does that automatically mean you should just disregard it and you just should just ignore us? Just like that? 
We gave pointers like learn to mix better, use new samples, try to make your music sound different. Try to branch out to new genres. They may not sound good at first, but at, at least I can respect the effort you put into it. Hell, you've proven that you can do that. <sighs> Andy, learn how to use FL Studio. Because it's just like Trill said, you're still in your learning stages. You jumped the gun when you made the decision to charge a dollar for a song while you were still a rookie. Hell, I doubt you would even listen even if we were calm about it. For instance, you uploaded a song to YouTube called, uh, I think it was Rainbow Frost or something, I don't know. But in one of those videos, uh, this was about two months ago, I think, someone commented saying, um, like, someone was giving criticism you know, telling you what parts he didn't like about the song, and, and hell, he's probably much more in this mature fashion that you adore so much. But then you replied back to him saying, Well, you need to get better headphones, because mine were like $350 or something. Okay, first of all, I don't care how much your headphones cost. There are probably $60 headphones out there that can produce the same amount of quality. And second of all, how the hell do you know what kind of headphones this guy uses? Shit, I didn't know you you knew him that well. How do you know he was wearing headphones at all? I just cannot stand when you look for something else to blame other than yourself. <sighs> look, Andy, whether you think you're better than me or not in making original music is none of my business. I don't like you mainly because you've practically become the call of duty of Little Big Planet 2 music. And the fact that you're going to make people pay to download a song that you hardly put any effort into, yet you still think it's one of the most incredible pieces you've ever composed, that it's worthy of a price tag only makes it worse. If you're going to take this whole music career thing seriously, you need to be willing to get better at what you do, okay? Because if I remember correctly, it was about a year ago, I think, when you said that you make dull music on purpose simply because of people stealing. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you still stand by that train wreck of an argument to this day, but if you do want to improve, then keep our advice in mind. Ask for help, read instructions, look for online tutorials, get somebody to tutor you if you have to, somebody who's used FL Studio for years and know what they're doing when it comes to composing music. But if you don't want to improve, if you don't want to take people's advice, and you think you're so amazing that you have nothing to improve on, you're a perfect human being, then... Why even bother?